Greetings, fellow traveling. Today, I'm going to remind you to meet people where they are. Uh, allow of our journey or our reality to recreate. Uh, I know it's true for my life, at least. Is that at times I get so caught up in the potential outcomes or what I know to be a great outcome for someone, including myself, that I overlook where they are. I overlook the gaps in our understanding. And sometimes when I believe the best outcome is one thing for somebody else. Truthfully, the best outcome is something that I could not have fathomed. That's the power of God in our lives. I say this to say at times I may have uh, given advice or attempted to give guidance uh, to various people in my life. And then I would get frustrated when they did not heed that information. Now, no matter how right or correct I thought I was, they had their own idea of what is correct for their journey. It took a while to understand that that's the beauty of it all. And for me to find peace with that. When I did find peace with that understanding, it was a realization of the power of choices that we all make and how they manifest in our lives. Now, also with that understanding came grace for myself. It was a realization that although I may see situations and believe that I know how the outcome should play out, I don't focus on that. I focus more so on seeing that person relieve of whatever obstacle they perceive is in front of them. In doing so, it allowed me to go within and see them strictly from the other side of the obstacle. I mean, I see them in the version of them that has passed that obstacle. I see them in the end version of themselves. I see them no longer worrying about the perceived problem or issue. That allows me to stay within my power. And it also allows them the opportunity to execute their power, their will, throughout their own beliefs and their own understanding. And at some point, no matter what the timeline, no matter how long or how short it takes, it comes to be. Now, before I gained a different understanding of what the outcome should look like, struggle with this. I didn't, <laughs> I just couldn't wrap my mind around the concept. However, when I began to uh, practically apply this information and, and step back and not attempt to force the outcome that I desire in my life and in others' lives, I begin to see how things take care of themselves. We are the ones that get impatient or unruly, if you will, or we want to control and put our hands on any and everything. But simply entrusting into faith, the power of self, the power of God that operates through us. I was able to be still know that the God that dwells within me dwells within any and all that I see and that I experience. And I allow myself the grace of not only not being frustrated, but not wanting to control something that is truthfully not within my control. I let go and let God. I think the ability to do this is not only inherent within all of us, but it's beautiful when we take hold of that ability and own it. Because we begin to see our choices or lack thereof and others' choices and lack thereof in a whole nother light. We begin to truly understand how much God's hand is in the midst of any and all things that we experience. And that in and of itself 
shifts reality to a whole nother uh, experience, if you will. I share this to remind you that you do have control, but you do not need to have control of everything. Things work out as you believe they will. And then the most recent uh, testimony I had from uh, a close friend and relative, I was reminded of this power. And I, I didn't tell them. I don't even know if they'll hear this. Nevertheless, I remember we talked about a, a particular uh, situation. And without second thought, I spoke to this person as if it were not a problem at all. I did not tell them that that's what I was doing. I didn't even tell them that it, as soon as we were done talking about it, in my mind's eye, I seen them is no longer worried about that situation because it unfolded just as they believed. And the interesting part is a few weeks later, it unfolded. And I bring this up because I got the information, seeing that it unfolded, okay, beautiful. I knew it would. But in that moment when I got the information, I was so happy for them, I had forgot that I had set that intention out there. It was no longer an issue. It was no longer a problem or a circumstance or obstacle. It was simply done. Not until this morning did I remember that that's how I viewed it the whole time. Now, that's one of the most recent occurrences, but it's happened many times throughout my life and even more so over the past few years. I share this with you as a testimony for myself and also as a reminder for you and me. That all we have to do is maneuver through faith and know what we want. And sometimes if we don't know what we want, that's okay. Focus on what you do want. And as life continuously unfolds for each and every one of us through God's will, we will forevermore be expanded, loved, given the grace, given the forgiveness that we desire in order to create the world that we want for ourselves. Until next time, be blessed. And please don't forget to smile.